Welcome back. Now we'll take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at forantspeaks.com. So actually, the question today is about hijab, and someone is asking, is it a sin to not wear the hijab? Okay, first to say that something is a sin, we have to have a very clear mandate, either in the Quran or in, a, in an authentic saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We can't make it up ourselves because people are not our servants, they are God's servants, and only God has the right to legislate for them and to declare what is a sin and what is not a sin. We are only interpreters of, the, of those declarations. So uh, we go to the Quran for this, and in the Quran, in uh, Surah 24, verse number 31, it says, tell the believing women to draw their head coverings over their uh, bosoms so that uh, they will not display their beauty except uh, uh, for you know some specified uh, individuals where you know in the case of the husbands uh, obviously all of their bodies can be shown and in case of some close relatives uh, a more relaxed uh, sort of home uh, dress would be appropriate uh, as opposed to when one is going uh, out of doors. As to when one is going out of doors, uh, Surah uh, 33, verse number 59, seems more to the point, saying, uh, tell the believing women to draw uh, a part of their uh, jilbabs. Here's an Arabic word, jilbab, uh, meaning like a large outer cloak, uh, to bring part of that jilbab over themselves so that they would be recognized and not molested. Now, putting these two statements together, one still comes uh, down to uh, a, a situation in which uh, the statements in the Quran are, are a little bit vague. To begin with, the word hijab nowadays is used uh, for the woman's head cover, mm -hmm. but in the Quran, the term used uh, for the head cover is khimar, a different uh, term. But, but we shouldn't get caught up so much on the term. It, it, the, the meaning is what is important, what was being said here. Uh, was the Quran saying to women, you must wear a head cover, or uh, is it saying, you know, the head cover that you're already accustomed to wearing, uh, bring the ends of that over the, the neckline to cover the, the exposed uh, chest area. Because at the time women would cover their heads. Apparently anyways. this was so. Th this, this is how Ibn Kathir states the matter in his tafsir of the Quran, a famous commentary on the Quran. He says that women used to wear a head cover but the ends were trailing behind their shoulders and they were leaving uh, a low neckline exposed and, and so the Quran's directive was them for them to bring the ends of that uh, over the, the neckline to cover the chest. So, long story short, is it considered a sin or? Well, you know, in Islam there, there are many different grades of things. There's something that's haram, which is absolutely a sin. Mm -hmm. Then there are things which are close to haram, and they might be said to be makru or uh, objectionable. Uh, and then there's other things which are objectionable, but not of the, of the haram type, and so not necessarily sinful. Uh, but uh, the pious people may want to still avoid those as well. Uh, so showing that, uh, obviously showing, uh, covering the head would be a recommended practice because this is what we've known from Muslim tradition throughout the ages. But I would hesitate to say that there's such a requirement that uh, omitting it would make a person sinful. Thank you very much, Dr. Shabir. You're welcome. Hey YouTube, we hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.